Hello and welcome back to Tales of Basalia. So this time I'm gonna play with um Rokuro. I I'll switch if a boss battle comes up though. Just at the beginning of the battle or whatever. So, yep. Yeah. And the next time Aizen or if something significant changes. And I guess we'll see. Last time we made it to the capital city. Found out we're basically surrounded on all sides. Is this a protest or um Probably not a protest. Probably not. Listen to those cheers. The royals sure have these folks in line. Subjects, may I have your attention? It is I, Percival Asgard, Crown Prince of the Midgand Empire. His Majesty, my father, and I are pleased to celebrate with you on this auspicious day. The ceremony started. It will be impossible to slip in now. I suppose. After the opening ten years ago, our kingdom faced an existential threat, both from demons and the terrible spread of demon light. However, one man raised a miraculous sword and stood so that the body and soul of the land Over there. would not be you lost. You can climb up if you want, but attacking now would and be suicide. And the name of that man was Artorius <laughs> Colbrand! Artorius! Artorius! Yeah, I don't think we care about... I don't think we care about the suicide part of it. Let's be realistic here. None here I trust are unfamiliar with Artorius' noble act. <laughs> To bring us salvation from demons, he sacrificed everything. But he's a murderer. He called mm -hmm. Lord Inominat, one of the five Imperians, and blessed us with the strength of the Malachi. But he's a murderer! Velvet! He serves as a shining beacon of reason in this world of turmoil. And reason is what binds us. Killed him. You took everything that I loved. So raise your voices in praise to Artorius's devoted work, to the Savior who purifies evil and guides our flock. Let us call him our shepherd. Shepherd Artorius. Shepherd Artorius. Shepherd Artorius. Shepherd Artorius. How do I get the drop on him? Even though the world was filled with suffering, I had to ask something tremendous of you all. I entrusted you to endure the pains of reason. I asked you to bind yourselves with shackles of your own will. For the only blade that can expel calamity is one forged from unshaking reason and the iron will to do what must be done. And now that very blade stands ready before all of us today. I offer my body and my life in service to the people of this great land. With the blessings of the Empyrean in Nominat, I will guide you. To a world without calamity. And this world's suffering will be nothing but a distant memory. Hmm. Sort of get the feeling he wants to erase everyone's emotions. Maybe that's a little bit too predictable. But you're the one who murdered. Fool, they'll see us. How did you get up? You were the one who killed Lothi said. What?
the Shepherd Artorius. That's who you're after? Oh, and here I was hoping you'd just straight up pounce on him. Oh, I want that it. That would be certain death. No, I need a sword of reason and will. That's the only thing that can kill him. Killing Lord Artorius. Playing it safe? Boring! Regrettably, it is at this juncture we go our separate ways. I've got a bit of hunting to do. No one's stopping you. Goodbye. Farewell! May your days be fruitful and your nights tormented! Hmm. She'll be back. If our enemy's calling himself a shepherd, he won't be going into hiding. Let's take this slowly. The old man behind him. Melchior, I take it? Yeah. Let's gather information on these people. If we know what they're planning, we can find a weakness. They're the most powerful men in the land. If we're going to look into them, we need a lead first. Aizen, do you have any underworld contacts in the capital itself? Like your friend at the port? I don't go inland much, I'm afraid. But Eifried has close ties to a shadow guild, a tavern in the city run by an old man called Baskerville, serves as a front for them. A shadow guild? Those sorts of things actually exist? Uh. <laughs> that settles it. Let's head to that tavern. They'll have food, I'm sure. Why not? Hmm. Well, Velvet, as a voice in your head, I can tell you that not killing him was a smart thing to do. My stomach made a weird noise. That's another sign that you're alive. <laughs> In a sense, yeah. My my penis went. That's another sign you're alive. You don't need to talk about it anymore. Nope, 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 nope. But um, <laughs> yeah. As the voice in your head, not killing him, not doing anything to him, was a smart thing to do. And she was right. Reason and will, a sort of one. They're being, I guess, a bit heavy-handed on the reason versus emotion part of it, but it's not too bad, it's just very, very obvious. The exorcists sure were out in full force to see the Shepherd's inauguration, weren't they? What about that guy you're after? Was he there? What, and have to stand around looking all proper? No, that's not his style. Then I thought he was one of the top exorcists. That wouldn't matter to him. Huh. All right. Actually, Velvet, speaking of the Shepherd, I noticed he wasn't using his right arm. Was he hurt or something? Yeah. He was badly wounded a long time ago. He lost the use of his sword arm. That's what I figured. But don't get the wrong idea. He's still a master swordsman with his left arm. I can tell that from the way he moves. His movements are steady and measured, and his chi is centered below his navel. Huh? Why does that matter? Some people say that all the body's spiritual energy gathers in a place about two finger widths below the navel. Even when he appears to be in a state of total peace, his guard is never down. He's a formidable adversary. <laughs> and I think I know why my target has placed himself at Artorius's side. Because now I want to take Artorius down too. Hmm. Hmm. Well, good. As long as you're with me on that, then everything's good. Sounds like Aizen's um, priorities also puts him in line with that, so... Everything's good. Hmm... Hmm... Would have been hard to actually um, see what was going on from um, out here. Okay. Hmm... What sort of shop is this? Ooh. Ooh, this is where we're supposed to go. Okay. Give me a sec. There are some people. Shepherd! Savior of mankind who guides us through the darkness! <gasps> what an appropriate title for Lord Artorius! I believe in him. As long as we have Shepherd Artorius, we'll make it through this era of disaster. Shepherd Artorius? How pompous can you get? Artorius has already seized control of all religious and secular power in Midgand. But now that he's taken on this new title, he's no longer just an authority figure. He's become the very hope of the masses. A dangerous opponent indeed. After seeing that, will you still fight him? Of course I will. Uh, yeah. He could be a god for all I care. I'll have my vengeance. No matter what. 
Hell yeah, I can get behind that. It makes it just makes me wonder, what did he tell them? What did he do to gain all this power? Hey, I can even afford it. Cool. Yeah, I was given a um, recommendation to basically, um... Um, just for the autocook thing, just buy a bunch of that and... Be good. And not worry about it anymore. Just cook stuff ever, forever, and ever, and ever. Oh, I need nutmeg too. Oh, okay. I can, I can get that. He may be the shepherd now, but no one knows who he was before the advent, or what he did. No, they don't. But he showed up one day with a malak in tow, routed the demons, and formed a band of skilled young exorcists. That sounds pretty suspicious. Right? But the kingdom readily acknowledged his abilities and his conviction, and threw its full support behind him. Maybe he plans on usurping power for himself. Not likely. He's worked tirelessly to rebuild the church and state, and to shore up the royal family's position. Lining his pockets from the state coffers, then? Not the slightest chance. Rather, he's got all the other higher-ups worried he's working himself to death. Then what's he after? Hmm. Maybe there is no ulterior motive. Maybe he is our shepherd. Whatever the case, if he hadn't shown up when he did three years ago, Midgan would be a smoking ruin. Yeah, I guess there is some validity to that. And he probably is the only help. Sometimes it does mean doing the worst among the worst things, just um, just to justify uh, everything. Revenge is more important, damn it. Lord Artorius's speech was so wonderful. I teared up halfway through. I was so worried when the demons appeared. I'm so glad I put my faith in the Abbey. The exorcists put their lives on the line to protect us. We've got to do what we can to help. I want to marry the shepherd when I grow up. Now that's popularity. Ignorance is bliss. Hmm. I still feel as though his um speech almost screamed something along the lines of, I want to remove all suffering from the world, so I'm going to take everyone's emotions away. Yay! Something along those lines. Okay, now I go here. What'll it be? Some food for the boy. Mabo curry is our specialty. It takes a week to stew properly. Mabo curry? Some of that, then. Say, do you know a man named Baskerville? I heard we might find him here. That old man? A scoundrel and criminal who went against the rules of the Abbey. They executed him long ago. Oh. <laughs> well, we're fucked up a creek. Uh, what do we even... <laughs> Get drunk. That's the solution. Get fucking wasted. Velvet! This Mabo curry is amazing! Still can't taste it? You get along so well. Is he your brother? No. No, he wouldn't be, would he? After all, your brother was murdered before your eyes. Huh? How do you know that? The shadows watch those who flinch from the light. So the guild is still active, even after Baskerville's arrest? That's right. Just like how Eifried's crew continues their piracy, even without their captain. So you're the contact? What may I help you with? I want to know what Artorius is planning. Information such as that? It won't come cheap. I have here a list of jobs, not one remotely legal. Take care of all of them, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Okay. Oh, all of them? Um... Just go down the list, I guess. I want you to destroy goods in Red Crate stored at a warehouse in Port Saxon. Sure. Take this with you as documentation. It's fake. But it's a good fake. It'll hold up to inspection. Hmm. We need one of these. It's registered to Mogulu's Menagerie. Oh. Oh? For fuck's sake. Was that not the name you gave to the guard at the gate? <laughs> I can see you're a group to be reckoned with. Report back here once you're finished. However, 
Be aware that should you fail... Then this conversation never took place. Got it. I'll cause you no trouble. I appreciate your understanding. You're welcome to stay the night, free of charge. Forget about work until the morning comes. <laughs> Sorry, we're a little too drunk to work anyways. <sighs> right. You're missing Captain Eifried. The captain has done much toward our viability. I promise that I'll share anything I hear about him for no charge. Thanks. All we know is there was a pendulum on the ground at the last place he was seen. And that Legate Melchior is connected to the captain's disappearance. How? We don't know. Hmm. Well, they are watching us. It makes me think... Artorius probably has people watching us too at this point. Or maybe he thinks just a show of force will... Sounds like if you've got problems of your own. Do you really have time to take on ours as well? I could ask you why you've tied yourself up with Velvet. Me? <laughs> I've got a debt to repay. Without her, there's no way I'd have ever found my blade again. A demon repaying a debt? Ridiculous. As ridiculous as a pirate Moloch, you think? Hmm. No matter how you look at it, there's nothing reasonable about our rogue existence. And in this brave new world governed by reason, a rogue can either rage and become a monster like me, or... Or band together with others. Like a ship full of pirates, perhaps. Exactly. I admire Velvet's courage, squaring off against the whole world on her own. Few can accomplish that. It takes strength. Real strength. And I'm curious where it comes from. Pure rage. So you're doing it for yourself after all. Is that so wrong? <sighs> no. I'm the same. I need allies on my side, with the strength and courage to combat this so-called order imposed by the Abbey. But anyone who's willing to put up with the creed folly of Eifried's pirates has to be an even bigger fool than we are. So I'm like you. I want to know how deep her foolishness goes. <laughs> Very. She'd kill you if she heard that, you know. Very, yeah, yeah, I would. It's a compliment. Fools that big aren't born every day. It takes a fool to topple a mountain. Aha. Uh -huh. And I imagine your dear Captain Eifried's much the same. Aye. That man flies his fool flag proudly. We'll see how long that stays true. If he's been gone this long, I would not be shocked in the slightest if um, he's either dead or... The Shepherd Artorius, hmm? He's got the populace eating from the palm of his hand. I wonder... Hmm... Just how deeply will the fangs of our would-be tragic heroine scar this broken world of ours? I've got a traitor to find, but in the meantime, this should be a good show. Mm. Okay. Two things. One, I'd be shocked if Reason Reason, Super Duper Reason, um, Autorius decided to not have spies in a spy network of some sort. That would be really weird, wouldn't it? I think so. Two, like I was saying, Einfred, um, it seems like there's a decent chance he's either dead, or like brainwashed him, or something else along those lines. It's quite suspicious that he's been gone this long. A kind face for such a hard woman. She knew about me and our cover. She's got ears everywhere. And that's not all. She called the papers fake, but they're not. So she's got spies working on the inside, too. I heard that her predecessor, Baskerville, was a monument against authority. But to think he was executed. They've lost their leader, but remain unconquered. 
not an organization to trifle with. That's how they have to be to take on the Abbey. We'd better succeed on our missions, and not just to get the information we need. Yeah. Besides, I'd like to get another of those drinks, too. You're a man of taste. That place always has the best. Uh, you'd better work hard, too, if you want more Mabo curry. I will. <laughs> uh, everyone's motivations. Three of them are evil, and MT just wants food. Which is. sounds about right. Sounds about right. Oh god, another game? Oh my goodness, just so many games in this. Maybe I'll check them out, but I'm more interested in the story and the. Destroying red crates in a warehouse? Doesn't sound very nice. Have we ever been nice? <laughs> I suppose not. This is a contract job, so let's keep costs down. I'll call the Von Eltia and have her draw the guards away. If you would. What will we be destroying? Who knows? That's hardly our concern. Maybe we could swipe some of it if it's some good stuff. That ceremony was simply fantastic! Lord Artorius' speech was brilliant, of course, but Prince Percival was really something too. He raises up Artorius to help the country and its people, then willingly steps down. Now that's what I call a king. You think so? Well, to me, he just looks like a wimp. He may look that way, but he has a great inner strength. He's excelled as a scholar and a leader since he was young. His only hobby is falconry, but sadly, I hear he hasn't had the time for it lately. You seem like a big supporter of his. Well, he's got two younger brothers, but just between you and me, they're dolts. Worse, they hang with a bad crowd. If anything were to happen to Prince Percival, the future of Midgand would be bleak. I see. Perfect. So everyone's hopes are riding on him, then. Which means Midgan's vulnerable without him. Hmm. You know, if you make the country vulnerable, you make Artorius vulnerable. So... It's not a bad plan. So, yeah. Greetings, Magilu's Menagerie. You've come to exactly the hmm. right place. You must be a Bloodwing. What do you want? You already know about the Code Red demons, right? The really strong demons the Abbey wants gone? Yeah. Would you ever consider hunting them down for us? We'll reward you properly. Reward? Why pay us when the Abbey would do it for free? It's complicated. The Abbey is calculating in their deployments, especially where Code Red demons are concerned. I get it. They'll only act if they determine the demon would cause more harm than the losses they'd incur in battling it. That does seem logical. But sometimes, people have lost a loved one to such a demon. Or sometimes, they have a connection to the person the demon used to be. Wherever there's a code red demon, you can bet there are people willing to pay good money to have it killed. <sighs> and let me guess, hmm. that's where the blood wings come in. Exactly. There are blood wings all throughout Midgant who have information on these code red demons. If you defeat a demon and report back to my comrades, they'll make sure you're well compensated. All right, I understand, but I won't make any promises. That's fine. No sense in drawing up a contract when the hunter probably won't survive anyway. <laughs> if you get results, Fuck let off. us know. We'll hold up our end. That being said, I'd feel guilty if I didn't help out at least a little, so here, take this. Those blood wings are definitely a rough crowd. To be fair, things are never that straightforward when you're dealing with demons. All that matters is that there's something in it for us if we hunt those Code Red demons. The only thing better than fighting formidable foes is getting paid for it. <laughs> Just remember that these Code Red demons are tough enough to make the Abbey shiver. We'd be wise not to underestimate them. We should talk to those Bloodwings before considering any of the marks. They might have information that will help us prepare. Yeah, and we better remember to upgrade our equipment. Right. Yeah. I don't disagree. You can use an Inov bottle by pressing L2 while you're in a town or field. Using an Inov bottle will teleport you to uh, directly to a specified location. You can get them from shops or treasure chest. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Is that what she gave me then? Okay. Hey, Laffy said. What is it, Rokuro? Mabo curry. Huh? Oh. 
<laughs> You're an interesting one. You like Mabo curry that much, huh? It smells good. And it's creamy and kind of spicy. Eating it made me feel nice. I'd say you love it then. Do all Malakim have such an appetite? Each has their own tastes. Some eat a lot, some eat a little. Just like humans or demons. What do you like, Aizen? Drinks, I suppose. What else? Uh, pretty much just drinks. Don't hey. you like anything else? Is it a problem if I don't? No. I'm just wondering. For me, it's drinks and candied sweet potatoes. That's where you boil strips of sweet potato in oil and then coat them in sugar, right? Yeah, I never get tired of them. So you like to drink, but you've also got a sweet tooth? Yeah. Is that so strange? No. Candied sweet potatoes? Sounds good. Uh, There's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just a sign that you're alive, remember? Right. Mm-hmm. A good thing I made him the cook. Okay. So, where did I need to go again? Port Zexon. Okay, basically where I was before. I don't need to use a bottle. To... Well, I should try using a bottle. Uh, L2. Okay, my bad. Oh, and Code Red Hunter here now. Okay. No information. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. I should buy a few of those. Nectar is a powerful nutritional supplement, but it's also addictive. So only medical professionals are permitted to make it and prescribe its nectar. use. But lately, black market nectar is being moved around in huge quantities. Are you selling? Don't be ridiculous. I am an honest merchant. Then again, demand for it is probably huge. Besides being highly nutritional, it is also highly intoxicating. Look at the age we're living in. I don't blame people for wanting an escape. You think so? I think a good drink is far better. What's peculiar about the whole thing is the Abbey. They could put a stop to it easily if they wanted to. Anyway, no one knows who's making it or how it's getting around, but good citizens shouldn't touch the stuff. Got it? <laughs> so it's probably the Abbey then. Yeah, it makes sense at the very least. Oh, look at you and your code... Look at you, and you look exactly the same as the other one. Looks like you finished a hunt, so I figured it was about time. Oh, was that a code red? Okay. I did not know. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, Gale's Lake Road. Unlocks intense battle difficulty. Hmm. Level 18. Um. Sure, have I been to the Gales Lake Road at all? I don't know. It does not look like it. Okay, I have to keep an eye out for that name. Oh, what are you doing down here? Yeah, that's enough. Give me something. Give me. <sighs> have you heard? The Abbey is building a new base. I hear it's a huge temple in the middle of some mountains near a site of ancient ruins. If they've got time to build a temple, they should use it to kill more demons instead. You sure you want to talk like that here? Ha! I'm different from all those losers who swoon over the shepherd's pretty words and ignore reality. No one's found a way to cure demon blight yet, and demons are still swarming everywhere. Sure, maybe things are not as bad as they could have been, but we still have no idea what's going to happen next. Think about it. Demons could be infiltrating the city as we speak, and we'd be none the wiser. Yep, you're completely right. <laughs> yep, he is not a stupid one at the very least. He's sort of being right. like... The guards are gone. Let's move in. Benwick and the crew did a fine job. Hmm. Um, okay. 
Let's just figure out that really quick. I'd say... What was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying before. Oh my goodness. Red crates. These must be our targets. The seal of Midgand Cathedral? Should we look inside? There's no need. Burn them, Lafayette. Okay. Mm hmm. We could at least look inside. We're <sighs> done here. Let's go. But I'm yeah, but yes. <gasps> that storm cost too much time. I must report to Lord Artorius as soon as possible. Uh, peripheral vision? You have... It's you! Oh, hi. Oh, hey. The crybaby. <laughs> Eleanor Hume, Exorcist Praetor! No! Oh. Uh, you know what? You know what? No, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna use someone I'm used to. At the very least. Oh, fuck. This is a bad start. See this? Killing flash! But I'm just close. I won't miss! Form zero! Thunder! Ah, it works. Ah, it works. Oh, she's a little bit of a pushover. Oh, uh, what? No, I didn't kill her? No. Willing to fight without your Malachine? No. You set the storehouse ablaze? The people have worked so hard to withstand this time of crisis. How can you destroy what they have so painstakingly built? Because I'm not human. You'll pay for this, you demon! More Malakim up her sleeves. I will protect hmm. you, Madam Eleanor! Come and face me now, demon! <gasps> He's adorable. Uh, am I? Isn't this Doggy Doo's theme? Ooh, I found you at last! Uh, <laughs> that bad, bad voice! The Enfu, you traitor! You'll never leave my clutches again! Not her! No! W what are you doing? Get out there and fight! Hey, look! Is that smoke? It is! Fire! The fire has spread enough. Let's get going. You're coming with us. <laughs> Let me go! Oh, witch nippers! Madam Exorcist! What happened? Oh, you're badly hurt. I can wait. Gather the people and put out that fire. Y yes, madam. Tell me, do you know what was being kept in that warehouse? Um, mostly nectar, I believe. Vast stores of the medicine, provided by High Priest Gideon, to be distributed to doctors across the land. Medicine given by the church? Why would anybody destroy it? Well, black market medicine trade might be a bit more, um, profitable, at the very least. Makes sense. Ah, uh, workers, battles, abilities, martial arts, slashing twin blades, based elemental attacks. Knowing when to use uh, Brokuro's multiple hit martial arts and his broad selection of elemental hidden arts is the key to making most of his abilities. He has no non-elemental hidden arts, which makes martial arts his best bet against enemies weak to non-element attacks. Whew. Looks like we're in the clear. <laughs> Misfortune and anguish! I had that little turncoat right in front of me! 
It's okay. Well, at least now I know where to find him. That weird little Moloch was the one you were looking for? The very same. The Moloch Bienfu! A creature of unfathomable wickedness and beguiling cuteness who broke the heart of this wretched maiden! <laughs> Once I finally catch him, who knows what I'll be capable of? Not sure I get it. Me neither. Good. Pray that you never do. <laughs> Let's go back and report our success. So... I'm a little con... Like, I, was she implying that she could use an unwilling Malak? I guess tethering. Hmm. Okay. I think it was a Malik too. That's also sort of confusing. Um, okay. Break soul, vengeful stance. Hold R2 three or more souls while standing by or during combo to activate. As an additional effect, combo following this cannot be guarded against. Rokko will enter defensive stance uh, with, with, with which he will block the next enemy attack encounter with a vengeful punishment. His move can also be performed by pressing R2 immediately after blocking the attack. I wasn't sure if you could, um, chain each, um, form into another, but his hidden arts can be chained in the same way, um, uh, velvet skin. I'll cut down anyone in my way! Okay. That's about what I was, uh, expecting and hoping for, so. What's the deal with you and that exorcist, Eleanor? She had tears in her eyes when we first saw her at Northgand. Velvet poked fun at her, calling her the crybaby exorcist. Why would an exorcist cry? Sacrificing the individual for the good of the many is part of Artorius's philosophy. She seemed troubled by that. She's naive. That she can still carry on shows just how strong she is. It looks like they don't hand out the rank of Praetor to just anyone. Hmm? Just stay sharp around her. That's all. By the way, is that Bienfu character that Magilu was after really a Moloch? He may look strange, but yes, he's still a Moloch. That means Magilu is an exorcist. Why does she call herself a witch then? If she got locked up in that prison, she must have been kicked out of the Abbey. Or she could be a fraud. Yeah. Even if she wasn't an exorcist, she could still perform some tricks with a Moloch like that. I will protect you, Madam Eleanor! Fish me now, demon! <laughs> right? <laughs> Was that laughter? Uh, I'm sorry. Why apologize? Bienfu is funny, right? Right. Then if you want to laugh, laugh! <laughs> Aw, it's like a big brother. If you think that's funny, you should give it a try for yourself. Say, Hi, I'm Luffy Set! Uh, alright. Hi, I'm Luffy Set! Knock it off! Huh? What's the problem? People are staring. Don't attract attention. I'm sorry. <sighs> She's so uptight. Let's try it together later, Luffy said. Uh, all right. Oh, she has her issues. What, uh, Doggy Doo didn't want to chime in on that one? Well, we've learned one thing coming to the capital. The Abbey and Shepherd Artorius have expanded their power immensely. They might as well be the Empire now. They have the undying support of the populace. The Shepherd, Savior of Humanity. <laughs> I wonder what he meant by the blessings of the Empyrean Enominat. That's what they call the gods they worship in church, right? The Empyreans? He promised a lot in that speech. But can he really command such a power? I have no idea. Not even we Malachim know of them beyond the stories and legends. He called Enominat the fifth Empyrean. There should only be four, one ruling each element. Is he talking about a new Empyrean? Have you heard anything, Luffy said? Sorry. He's making up shit. I don't know anything about this. It doesn't matter. We should be careful about taking his words at face value. The man is no saint. He'll stop at nothing to achieve his aims. But there's no way he could have a god at his beck and call. Don't underestimate the Abbey. Trust me, I'm not. That's why I'm using the Shadow Guild to help us hunt them down, and to make sure that I kill him. Honestly, it just sounds really, really convenient when it all comes down to it. Trouble at the docks, was there? Well, 
So long as the job was done. Hmm, okay. Um, let's go for the third one first. Stop an ambush aimed at the Royal Medical Society in the Danon Highway. Sure. Good luck. I look forward to hearing your report. So, somebody means to ambush the Royal Medical Society on the Danon Highway. The Royal Medical Society is a group of doctors that travel around healing the sick. They're funded by donations given by ordinary folk. <sighs> Why would anyone attack them? Don't ask me. Some people are just twisted. And why would an underworld group defend them? How's it illegal Who knows? either? Something to do with the attackers, perhaps? <laughs> if I had to take a guess, it would be the Abbey's attacking them. I'm just getting a feeling that um, the Abbey's more involved in the underworld than maybe even the Shadow Guild. Yeah, I mean. Arthur does seem like the type to use any advantage at his um at his possible will, so. It's ours. He has like his quick sidestepping martial arts and stuff. But at the same time, it seems very low damage, although it almost seems like like a hit and run, like sort of like like a rogue specialty almost. Double knives seem like it fits with that, but still. It's hard to make a serious impact. Hmm. This one seems a bit more time sensitive than the others. Hey! Get out of our way! That there! That's our food! What's <laughs> this? So the attackers were demons. I guess that's why they needed us to stop the attack. Why did they know? The doctors? Looks like they ran off. With red crates? Hmm. It appears they were after this stuff. Medicine with the cathedral seal. That scarf, did that belong to the attackers? Yeah. All three were wearing them. Does it mean something? They were just demons. Aggressive ones who attacked the innocent. Mm, no, they seemed organized. <laughs> That's a weird place to get the, uh... The job is done. Time to leave. Okay, okay. Just do what we're told, I suppose. This part isn't a concern to us, they can deal with their own stuff. By the way, those folks we just passed were talking about us. What were they saying? They were warning each other to be careful, talking about the demons that burned down Helavis and destroyed the Seagate Fortress being near the capital. Considering how bold we've been, everyone's still fairly calm about it. We'll be famous soon enough once we kill the world's savior. <laughs> Sounds like that could get fun. Fun? Why? The people trying to capture us will put prices on our heads and put up wanted posters everywhere. Depending on who draws the likenesses, each portrait can look completely different. You know what I'm talking about, right, Eisen? Aye. I've seen dozens of pictures of myself. Some make me a monster, others make me a handsome youth. It's fascinating, really. I hope I get a poster soon. Then do your best to really stir things up. Right. I'll stir everything up good. <sighs> for corrupting, for corrupting today's youth, just so badly, and I love it. You're good at what you do. I'm impressed. Hmm. Find and bring back a scholar named Mendy who disappeared along Galley's Lake Road. Hmm. There's sure. still more to do. I'm sure it'll be easy for you. We'll see. We'll see. A scholar missing on the road to Gallus Lake. Strange request. If they know where he vanished, why don't they just look for him there? Exactly. And what's so illegal about a missing persons case that you gotta go to the underworld? I can think of a few possibilities. But our job isn't to ask questions. Hmm. 
I guess I'll take this opportunity to try to um, head over to Galley's Lake anyways and just like open up a path through Enoch battles and whatnot. Maybe I'll look for that um red red code demon, I think they called him. High Priest Gideon is an honest and righteous man. He's dedicated his life to his faith and to the church. Now, as the representative of the clergy, he's thrown his full support behind the abbey. Hmm. So, he's a man of principle. That's right. He even donated his personal savings to support orphanages and hospitals. So be at ease. For he offers up prayers for all equally, even for the more dubious among us, such as yourselves. Right. I'm so grateful. I can feel the tears of gratitude coming. Any moment now. Oh, so very grateful. Yeah, I'm sure he'll want the best for good old little us. Hmm. Okay. Not entirely sure which way to go, but... Okay. Okay, what is in this? Huh. Nothing at the moment. Okay, back and off, back and off. Hey, that noisy demon looks pretty strong. Think it might be one of those code red demons? Doesn't matter to me. I'd rather not waste my time fighting it if I don't need to. I don't see it as a waste of time. Look, the Abbey only has a handful of exorcists strong enough to take something like this down, right? Probably. I'd say Praetors like Lady Teresa and the Legates could probably take it on. And those guys are all your enemies, right? <sighs> I see where you're going with this. The Abbey is strong both in its individual members and as an organization. And if we're to close the gap between us and them, we need to fight strong opponents like this demon. That's what I would do. But you're free to make your own decision. All right. I'll concede the point. But we should determine just how strong it is first. I don't want us to bite off more than we can chew. That goes without saying. I'd rather not get myself killed due to inadequate preparation. You don't have to worry that much. If you want to go fight, I'll help keep you safe myself. I promise. I don't recall asking for your protection. You don't need to. Hmm. That doesn't look like the one that we had, um... The, um... What was it even? Um... That doesn't look like the one that the, um... They are telling us about, at the very least. So, it's a bit odd. Yeah, maybe I'll come back to it a little bit later. Hmm. This is a nice environment. Ah, uh, might as well make my way down to wherever. Hmm. And Boulder? Yeah. Ooh, what a combination. Okay. Not that I think I could have um, even come in this direction from the opposite way, but... Oh well. Okay, trying this way first. Oh, there's a code red. Yeah, oh, I would be very surprised if that wasn't basically the signal for... Ooh. You're fighting oh, the oh, oh, for no where it was. No See. Yep, that's the thing. That's definitely the thing. Um, wish I had a save point nearby. Well, let's um put you back at the it's the main fighter. Let's try it. You're strong. Killing flash! When I'm this close, I won't miss! Form zero! Thunder! Yep. Not horrible. Not the worst idea. 
Ooh. Ooh, what is that target status? Ooh, there's there's a there's a it's um I can keep myself alive a bit easier than I can keep an AI alive. So I should be fine. Ooh, you know what? Let's um let's look. Let's look. What is it? Fiend, Ephidus, um, weaknesses, da, 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 resistant. No. No, no, I don't have anything I can think of I, for my specific ones. Plenty of guards. Probably shouldn't have used that soul at the beginning. It's going down pretty quickly, though, now that we have all four people. Just some. Eh, heal if I can. Hmm. Yeah, this hasn't been bad at all. Even with two souls. I refuse to hmm. fall here. The villain's event type unlocks intense battle difficulty in the options menu under system. Yeah, I'm almost tempted to up the difficulty. Up the difficulty one more time. <laughs> if you tried hard difficulty and still want something more, then this difficulty is for you. A longer item use cooldown, along with other challenges, will really test your skills. Hmm. You want to challenge the power of allied healing. Uh, healing arts is reduced, making smart tactics a must. Okay. 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 Um, for now, not changing anything. I'll consider it. And if I want to do it, I'll do it at the end of them. The next, um, I'll, I'll do it at the beginning of the next uh, recording session. Okay. Hmm. Oh, here's my uh, target, at the very least. Hmm. I really do feel like Rokuro is much more made to be a one on one style fighter. I'm not sure he's very good when it comes to. Is this where I... No, I haven't been here. Huh. I'm gonna check this out before I go do the other stuff. No, I'll just head back here. But Rokuro really feels like he'd be a good one-on-one -on -one fighter. He feels quite defensive, quite mobile. But he doesn't feel like he's very good at applying a lot of damage to groups of enemies. He feels like someone who could wither down the other enemy over time. And allows you to have the abilities to be small. Oh, no. Can't go over there yet. Alright. Okay. That might be part of them. Uh, the other side might be uh, the place I missed, but... Eh, whatever. Why, hello there, Who suspicious there? looking people. What on earth are guards doing here? Good question. Hmm. No, watch out! They've got molecule! They're no okay. cell swords. No Is that a molecule? What the fuck qualifies as a molecule then? Sheesh. What do you suppose they were guarding? A little lost lamb, perhaps. You think they're holding Mendy captive? Seems like a relatively decent thing to be getting at this point. Conclusion, I mean. Hmm. Not just him. Who in the blazes are you? How did you get in here? Are those... blaze shards? You didn't kill the mercenary set to watch us, did you? No, I didn't. Just stay here. Don't, don't, don't even, don't even bother looking out front. I'm not trying to run. 
Oh, you'll be fine. Is there someone here named Mendy? We've come to help. Oh, thank goodness. I can finally go home. So they were keeping you prisoner. They made you mine vermilion ore? Yes, I discovered a method of refining it, and it cost me dearly. What's vermilion ore? A rare stone made of concentrated nutrients. It can be used in medicine, but it's also poisonous. Correct. So you were making medicine? Yes. They were forcing me to make a nutritional substance called nectar. Isn't vermilion ore supposed to be highly addictive? Uh, I told them that. But what choice did I have? Whatever. Our task is complete. Can you get back to Logris on your own? I can. I'm terribly sorry. Why well, apologize to me? Hmm. We finished all the jobs. Let's get back to the old lady's tavern. <laughs> you sure do like that Mabo curry. Uh, do I? Don't ask me. You didn't think it was tasty, Velvet? Couldn't tell you. Huh? Food doesn't hold any flavor for her. According to Velvet, she can never feel sated, and the only thing she can taste is blood. Oh, I see. Which is a horrible, horrible taste, I might add. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling like I'm getting a good idea of what the Abbey's corruption is. Subjugation, I mean, subjugation through addiction? That's not an mm. uncommon thing. What's the matter? You're gloomier than usual. Am I actually useful? Huh? Hell yeah. You can cut down any enemy, and Aizen can beat them up. Velvet is strong and can eat anything. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> but I'm not good at fighting, and apparently I'm always gloomy. Is that what's bothering you? In a fight, offense alone isn't everything. Hurting your foes means nothing if you don't live to tell the tale afterwards. Your healing arts are what let us always fight at our best. He's right. Compared to dead weight like Mogilu, you're plenty helpful out there. Only compared to Mogilu? I didn't mean it like that. <sighs> I was just saying she never helped <laughs> at all. You're not going to grow overnight. Uh. Be patient. Uh? You've only just been set free. That you've even managed to keep up with us this far is a feat in and of itself. Strength comes by continually improving your mind and body. Keep your spirits up and keep working at it. And you'll get there before you know it. I will? The drive to improve is what's important. Right. Yep. Very true. Another question. What happened to Doggy Doom? Because we've been talking about her and we like kidnapped her. But I guess it's because we can do this in any order. Hmm. Okay. So they seem to be using demons as Malakim. I sort of think that he called them Malakim just because of the fact that they were like summoned by that and maybe that's the main thing about it because mm. both uh Aizen and uh m &T both look very very human they weren't able to be seen before all the stuff before but sure they're still um they're still distinctly humanoid not like those medusas before or Whatever the Sally Voice one was called, or however they did it. Mm, before I head back, I want to check this one down to the south that I didn't before. Ooh, I see a cat's. Come on, give me something. Top hat. Hmm. Oh, fashion. <laughs> oh, I don't know if that fits anyone. Ah, uh, for now. Sure. Let's give you the... Let's give you the biggest hat we have. Yeah, I'd say I'm not a big fan of how Rokuro plays. Maybe if I learned him better, like all the little details, he'd be excellent or something, but... 
He definitely doesn't seem like the type that melds with how I typically. It, it just, I wasn't having much. Um, I wasn't having much success with him, and it was pretty clear that he just did. He just felt off to me. I guess it's sort of just like one of those characters that, for better or worse, they just don't meld with how I'm approaching the game. I suppose. At the very least, I think the AI does a better job than me at um, trying to control him. So, I don't know. I'm gonna leave it to that. You know, that doesn't have a red thing of a bob on it. Oh well. Let's go in. Are we ready for this? Ooh. Okay. No idea. 19. It should be a little bit stronger than the other one, but I was okay on that. Watch yourselves! This guy means business. I know, I know. Be very Training careful. It's worthwhile if you get killed it's while doing it. I'm really liking to get the lock, so. Be very careful, everyone. <laughs> Getting a little bit of slowdowns. So much going on screen at times. Yeah, this is a dodger. Definitely a dodger. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this guy's no match for me at the moment. It was a close one, but I am the victor. Whew. That thing was pretty strong. You just wanted something good to train on. I'm not in it just for myself. If I get stronger, I'll be more helpful in your battles. This counts towards the repayment of my debt. But you don't deny at least part of it was for yourself. Of course not. Every true swordsman wants to train so they can improve themselves. It might be a little late to ask. But what debt exactly are you repaying, Rokuro? My sword is my life. When I was separated from it, Velvet told me where to find it. Also, she broke me free from a 500-year-long prison sentence. You say that like it's an afterthought. And that's why I can't fully trust you. I don't follow. Us Rangetsu men are renowned for our sense of duty and commitment. Actually, now that you mention it, Rangetsu's a pretty unusual last name. I heard your family specializes in unconventional swords and fighting styles. That's true. Our ancestor was a swordsman from way off in another country who came to this land a long time ago. A foreign swordsman, huh? I guess that explains why your swords and techniques stand out so much. He had quite a hard time getting by in this unusual land, until he was taken in by an aristocratic family. Ever since, the Rangetsu clan has accepted the rule of their benefactors and has served them in repayment of their debt. Serve them as bodyguards? Bodyguards, assassins, <laughs> spies, Quite a body doubles. Whatever the order, your family will carry it through. Kitchen knife maker? Always return that which you've borrowed, even if you must repay it with your life. That was our ancestors' creed. In truth, four of my five older brothers are dead. You have to admit, we take our sense of duty seriously. Yeah. All right, I get it. You and your family are all tied to your sense of honor. That seems to be the case. We can count on him. As long as he's on our side, at least. Oh, come on, that's not fair. <laughs> hey, who knows when you decide that your debt has been repaid? Uh, uh, who knows when you'll decide when your debt has been repaid? You haven't really exactly um, elaborated on that at all. 
Oh well. Um, one way or another, um, didn't they already know that? Maybe they could have done that earlier if I came to that, um, if I actually went up there and, um, used that area and traveled the area before. And this is where I'm going to end it for today. Yep, I definitely feel as though... You can feel the corruption muddying the waters quite a bit. An addictive substance, forced labor, nectar. Definitely, almost definitely nectar in those um, red boxes. Very addictive. Can be used as a medicine. So I'm guessing it's basically like the equivalent of really addictive, um, really addictive painkillers in uh, the real world. And using that as like the equivalent of an ibuprofen instead. I, I think you can get how dangerous that would be, and how, and how much you could probably manipulate the public by using that in that way. It doesn't make me think maybe they're funding stuff under them. Even though he seems to have absolute power, maybe he's using it to fund other programs or something. Maybe they don't have to increase taxes because of it. Well, maybe they don't have to increase taxes too much because of it. Or maybe he just wants to control the populace a bit more. Because he has some sort of plan going on. I guess we'll figure out next time since we finished all of them. And, um, that in mind, that's, um, I said. That's all I got for now. Fun game. Very fun game. I'm not a big fan of playing as a broker, though. I'll try Aizen next time. But, um, I, li I like playing as M&T. I like playing as Velvet. m &T was fun, sort of, because it's like, you back off a little bit, you can use, like, far range arts. You have, he had some interesting martial arts for them, chaining stuff, too. Ones that I actually didn't think were that bad, because they are very much area of effect around him. Stuff that would be quite good, and you could use in very specialized ways. And then he had his normal attacks from afar, and you could heal them. I felt more like a general playing his uh, MT. Velvet just feels like a powerhouse. Like, really super powerful. Um, Rokuro. Eh. Like I said, he felt like he was made to be like an evasive one-on-one -on -one sort of defensive stance. Like, really sort of complicated, used in the right way, and he could be really good. Probably won't play in the future, but he might be. I, I don't know. I, I won't say anything more because I'm, I might be speaking out of my ass at this point. Either way, um, that's all I got. See you next time. Drive safely, everyone.